Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you for all of your support, all of your likes, all of your shares, all of your comments. If you are interested in a private reading, please just click on my website. I do have it linked below in the description bar. Lastly, I am on social media. So I am now on Facebook. If you're interested in liking my page on Facebook, please do. I am also on Instagram. And if you are interested in receiving a daily Oracle guidance message, I do draw and upload a daily Oracle guidance card every single day to my Instagram account. So if you're interested in that, then please head over and, and follow me on Instagram. Oh, and, and one last thing, um, for these general tarot forecasts, you should always be sure to watch not only your sun sign, but also your moon sign and your rising sign. If you happen to not know what your moon or rising sign are, I do have linked in the description bar below a website that actually can calculate that for you for free. So I wish you all a wonderful week. Just stay tuned for the reading. Hi Taurus, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of August 15th through the 21st. This is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising Signs. All right, Taurus, so at the bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Wands. Okay, so for many of you, this is your energy, Taurus. You're passionate, you're ambitious. This is you maybe being a little bit more fiery this week, wanting to charge forward, wanting to move forward with something. For some of you, you could very well be traveling. Maybe you're going on vacation. Um, the overall energy, Taurus, for the entire week is the Four of Pentacles. So this can be a bit of a conservative energy for some Taurians. This could be you saving your money more than you're spending it. Um, you could also be holding on to something tightly or there could be a situation um, where maybe someone else is holding on to something tightly, Taurus. Um, but financially, this is a great energy. This is you definitely building, um, building up the security that you already have so um, maybe saving more money financially I think it's going to be a great week we are starting out with the Hierophant so the Hierophant can represent um, important documents documentation uh, it's also more of a traditional energy it can represent marriage or um, committed relationships this also can be the government the large company that maybe you work for or institution and for me the higher font also represents having faith so I think that for some Taurus Taurians there's definitely a situation involving money a situation that could be involving like legal documents or paperwork or even a situation within within your career, um, maybe waiting on a promotion or a raise. I think that for, for many of you, you've been waiting on something. With the higher font here, you need to keep the faith, but I also see you moving towards that documentation or maybe that communication from the company that you work for. Because I have the Eight of Cups underneath the higher font, this is all about forward movement. Uh, along with the Knight of Wands, moving forward, um, especially with the world here as well, moving towards completing, for many of you, completing a very long chapter or cycle within your life. And with the world, um, you know, this can be a very long chapter, a very long cycle within your life that is now completing. You're moving on to the next chapter or next cycle within your life. The world for me, represents a very blessed energy. This is rebirth. This is um, a very blessed energy, energy, but it can be a bit of a process. It's sometimes kind of easing out of the old chapter or old cycle of your life, easing out of that, and then easing into the, the next chapter of your life. So 
for some of you I definitely think this could be connected to family um, connected to assets connected to a home or this is something to do with a new job or even a relationship a marriage so I see you moving forward Taurus I see you moving towards this abundance or this higher paying position for some of you this could be you moving towards a new home maybe you've been waiting on a decision in regards to a home I definitely see movement um, you need to keep the faith and you need to know that you are moving towards this this new chapter of your life um, with the nine of pentacles here for some of you this could be like a higher paying position this is financial abundance this is this is success this is living comfortably so this is what you're moving towards for some of you that's a higher paying position you know within the company that you already work for for others this could be a new home the nine of pentacles can can sometimes come up as a new home for me so this could be you moving to I feel like a better home a bigger home um, maybe you've been waiting on a decision in regards to a home or something to do with assets because I also have the lovers card here which can represent a choice or a decision and then I have the star card here so this is you needing again to keep the faith and the star card is mirroring the Hierophant which is for many Taurians, you very much needing to keep the faith, needing to remain positive when it comes to a decision, either in regards to a relationship or in regards to a home or a job. You need to keep the faith and maybe look at things from a different perspective with the hanged man here. Now, for many of you, this can also be you waiting, waiting on this decision, waiting on this movement. But I think that spirit is confirming Taurus that you are very much moving forward you are moving forward you have the knight of wands you have the world and you have the eight of cups so you very much need to remain positive and keep the faith and just know that you're you're about to charge forward when i see the energy of the hanged man i know that this is now only a temporary energy so for those taurians who have been waiting on something for quite some time you know with the hanged man here it's it's only a temporary wait now so I feel like you're getting a lot closer to whatever this is that you've been waiting on Taurus um, but for some of you you, de you do need a more positive outlook um, diagonal from the hanged man we have the star so you do need to look at things from a more optimistic um, standpoint needing that fresh perspective for some Taurians you need to take a step back you need to look at the larger picture as a whole because there could be something that you're missing or you just need a more positive perspective and then we have the magician here which is you having all the tools and the resources you need to be successful with manifesting something new so this is an empowering energy uh, for some Taurians this is you now getting creative um, maybe you have that fresh perspective this is you maybe taking matters into your own own hands this is you maybe getting a little bit more creative with the star here this is you definitely being divinely guided this is your angels your guides around you definitely leading you towards these beautiful new beginnings um, and with the magician um, yeah, for some of you, you're you're maybe going to take control. This is you maybe charging forward with the Knight of Wands and the Magician. This could be, for some Taurians, you getting a little bit creative um, because there's something that you're passionate about. There's something that you want. Yeah, so this could definitely be you taking control in some way, charging forward. And then for other Taurians, this is you definitely maybe seeing things from a more optimistic standpoint this week. There could be some good news that comes through um, or you're just getting closer. This is you needing to keep the faith when it comes to a decision that you might be waiting on from a partner or, you know, in regards to a home or something to do with assets. Um, I'm sensing for the majority of you, this is something to do with assets or a home. Um, 
with pentacles, anything in the physical material realm. And with the world here and the, and the Knight of Wands, I do think that for some of you, it's definitely in regards to a home. And then for other Taurians, this could definitely be, you know, related to career or related to assets. Um, and this is really positive. You have an amazing spread here, Taurus. You really do. I see you moving towards new beginnings moving towards completing maybe a very long chapter or a cycle within your life that maybe you've been waiting on, waiting to be able to, you know, fully put this behind you, waiting to complete this chapter of your life so you can move on to the next chapter. You very much need to keep the faith. Um, overall, I, I see it actually being a great week for you. I see you being very creative, very passionate, more fiery, I feel. Financially, I think it's going to be an amazing week for you. And I do see many of you moving towards wish fulfillment. With the star, this is wish fulfillment. You just need to keep the faith. All right. Uh, if you are in a relationship, Taurus, if you're in a committed relationship, I see it actually being quite passionate. Um, with the lover's card here, and then, you know, some of the, uh, the other energies, I think it, it could actually be a very passionate week for you. Oh, wow, this is this is nice. This card just flipped out. It's opal. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. So if you're a Taurus person who's been worried about your children or a child, this could be a child within your life, uh, a niece or a nephew, just know that they're okay, that they're okay. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. Now, if you don't have any children and there's no one that you're worried about, you know, I look at my fur babies like they're my children. So this could be, you know, a message in regards to your fur babies or, you know, maybe children are significant this week. There could be something um, to do with children. Maybe you are a, Tory, a Torian who has been waiting on a decision from your partner whether to have children. There could be something to do with children. That's quite significant. And again, you need to keep the faith. You need to remain positive. Um, I see a positive outlook for you as well. So Taurus, I do hope that you found this reading helpful and I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care.